is something. <laughs> Here's something. Someone commented on one video I made. Um, I can't remember your name, I'm sorry. Um, I think it's, I did a video about the, the gender rage gap. Apparently there's a difference between genders, rages and stuff. It's just some nonsense. And he said, check this out. It's about the gender workplace hours gap. I have no idea what the fuck this is about. I was like, I don't know what this is about. I said, you know, I'll check it out. Here's me checking it out. I sort of have looked at it before. But I can't remember what the hell happened. But it says here, Workplace Gender Equality Agency has a lot of work to do um, on its statistics following Senator David Leon, Leon, whoever that is, questions in estimates. The agency published a gender pay gap based on ABS data, but they don't account for the fact revealed in the same ABS data that male full-time workers tend to work longer hours than female full-time workers. So what about the gender workplace hours gap? So this is a woman talking about it. Well, oh, let's see what she has to say. I don't know. Ding! It's the Liberal Democrats. All right. On another issue... This is Australian, by the way, in case you haven't figured it out already. Is the gender work okay. place hours gap? Yeah. The agency reports a workplace gender pay gap comparing male full-time employees and female full-time employees. But male full-time employees work longer hours on average than female full-time employees. And the agency doesn't account for this when reporting workplace gender pay gap. Mm -hmm. ABS. Uh -huh. The chicken, the cat is amongst the pigeons, the uh, something's out the box. I don't know what the expression is I should be using right now. Data on employee earnings and hours. The gender pay gap as at May 2016 was 15.7%. It is a survey it is a survey of employees, that information from the ABS. It's not a census. Um, and it's only conducted every two years. They only collect the data every two years. Um, what we do do is we annualise our figure to full-time. So we look at all part-time employees and full-time employees that may have worked part of a 12-month period, and we, uh, and we annualise that data to take into account part-time hours. Um, I'm just so bored of what she's saying right now. Just thought I'd add that. And so therefore we're converting the part-time hours to full-time, if you like. So do, so do you take into account the fact that on average a male full-time employee works longer hours than a female full-time employee? N not directly, no. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> but that was good, wasn't it? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, no. Good. All right. Okay. Fair enough. <clears throat> good. Okay. We an but we annualise the part-time hours and those that have worked full-time but for part of the year. So that way, because at the moment... Uh, what I can tell you is w women work part-time at three times the rate of men. Mm. So by annualising it, we are looking at a, a more um, mm -hmm. realistic... So you based it on annual salary. Yeah. What about if you did it on an hourly rate? What would be the gender hourly pay gap? Well, we don't have that data, Senator. You don't have that data? No, because we ask for annualised salaries because, uh, and from our employers when they report their data in. Okay, so if, uh, if a woman was working fewer hours but earning the same uh, rate per hour as a man doing the same job, would that show up as a gender pay gap? No. But <laughs> That's like full of confidence she was. No. Uh, this isn't very good, is it? And in that case, you are looking at uh, hourly, at, at hourly rates. 
Uh, uh, God. Wait, what, what is with you asking your questions and shit? Because oh executive God. manager. So um, we do not we do not collect the real hours that an employee might have worked. So what we do collect is the hours that are specified in a contract, and that is provided by organisations to us. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, uh, if you, you, do you annualise it on the assumption that men and women are working the same number of hours, or is it ac actual earnings? It's actual earnings, and we are unable to. It, we don't have the data to distinguish or to to then adjust for, uh, adjust for hours because. Right. So therefore, you've got manipulated data, right? I've I've worked with uh, collecting data before. Um, you just manipulate the stats to suit your agenda. Is what it sounds like to me. Uh, no, we don't. We didn't do it like that. We did it a different way that made it look like it is what we say it is. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, it's like when they change, you know, it's like um, some countries that, that have uh, changed um, the cause of death to lower the murder rate. Um, so like, say someone gets shot, uh, but they don't die instantly. Um, and then they die in hospital like a few hours later or a day later. They count it as a different kind of death. It's not a homicide. It's actually death due to complications whilst in custody of um, the emergency services or something like that. I have some sort of term like that, you know? And then it sort of lowers the murder rate and saying, well, the murder rate's going down, don't you know? And it's like, well, no, you, you just changed what murder, what constitutes murder in your eyes. But the guy that shot him is still getting done for fucking murder. It's just the same, it's the same bullshit. Um, you know, uh, so the, the gender wage gap, I think people sort of uh, look at it as if it's some sort of new thing. Um, or manipulating stats, but it, it's, it's not with really manipulating stats for years in loads of different ways. Um, but they'll call out other stat manipulations, but you know, but other people will just take this in wholeheartedly. Do you know what I'm saying? Same way as you probably say, you know, I mean, you'd have to look into like uh, Donald Trump and um, how he's like, uh, you know, unemployment rates are. Black unemployment rates is something they talk about at like um, at all time low, but then you have to look at like what people are actually employed to be doing, like what counts, because it could be like four hours a week counts as being fully in full time employment or whatever. Or do you know what I'm saying? Like there's ways you manipulate it. You'd have to look into that to see how how much you know uh, the, you know how much. Uh, Look into the credentials of it. The same. Well, is it really? I mean, yeah, okay. Technically, they are employed, but are they are they better? Is it better? Are they are they doing better? You know, is that necessarily better? I work one hour a week. I'm employed. It's like, well, you're better off on welfare, aren't you, son? Like that kind of thing, you know. But um, yeah, these these, uh, can't we these women do seem to be like a bunch of bozos um, trying to get women more money for doing less work. Okay. It's not the first time people have tried to get more money for doing less work. It happens all the fucking time. We cannot collect the real hours that employees are worked so, working. So it's not possible to tell whether any or some of the gender pay gap is just simply attributable to a different number of hours worked. Is that right? It depends on whether okay. uh, we are looking at... There's a message from God giving him a high five. Hours that are in contract or whether, um, whether we're looking at hours that employees worked as, you know, over time. What, why is it you don't look at hours worked? You don't collect it, but the ABS does. It's available. The ABS does, yeah. uh, does a survey, yes. Every two years, yes. And that's, and, but, it, it, but again, as I say, we collect census data, that is survey data. And the other thing I would say at this stage, Senator, is just because somebody might be sitting at their desk for 12 hours a day doesn't mean you're getting 12 hours of productivity out of them and doesn't mean that uh, they're working, in essence, any harder than someone, may, that, as someone that may sit at their desk for eight hours. So I don't... So it's just a totally different argument. <laughs> that's, that's an argument against uh, minimum wage. I would say, saying, you know, well, we all get paid the same. That guy works really hard. Why? We're all getting paid the fucking same. I'm just going to sit here and slob about a bit more, you know? 
that's what that argument's for. Like, you know, come on, you change, you change well, your lanes, baby. That's true, but they're getting paid for the toll, whether they're doing any work, or they're, or they're getting paid for however many hours. Yeah, it's like, do you not understand that concept? Sitting at their desk. And the issue for your agency is that uh, a ma if it's a male sitting at a desk, they're getting paid more than a female sitting at a desk. So the, the question is whether that, irrespective of the hours, uh, the question is whether for, the, for those hours for which they're getting paid, is there a difference between men and women? So, so we don't collect information on our senator. ABS does, so it's available. So if we put in a question on notice, will you access the ABS data and, and so you can answer that question? Well, I, I did answer it earlier. I said that the ABS employee and earnings and, and hours data, uh, as at May 2016, the gender pay gap was 15.7%. If I understood you correctly, that it's referring to annualised salary, is that right? No. What, what's the gap based on? Per hourly rates or, or annual incomes or annualised incomes or what are we talking about here? Okay. The, um... Man, came to a gunfight with a spoon. <coughs> I mean, what is going on? The EEH data, so that's the uh, employee earnings and hours data, includes all employees regardless of employment status and reflects ordinary time cash earnings. The EEH survey produces hourly earnings for non-managers and can be used to produce a gender pay gap measure inclusive or exclusive of part-time employees. The EEH data can also be configured in a variety of other ways that are useful to the gender pay gap estimates, e.g. managerial versus non-managerial employees. Um, the big drawback from where we sit is that EEH data was identified as being, it is, is just done on a two-year cycle. I don't think I can think of many men who would find it acceptable that a woman, irrespective of how many hours she's working in the day, if she's doing the same amount of work as a man, uh, or the same job as a man, I'm sorry, uh, was paid any less on the basis that she's a woman. I, I can't think of any men who would, uh, who would support that. And yet, because you're not looking at hours, we don't know whether that's occurring or not. Am I right there? Mm. Mm. Senator, I think um, at this stage, as I've said to you, we, we are unable to uh, collect and analyse that data. There are other countries, of course, that do do that. Um, and we will... Not even every two years with the ABS survey data? You could do it, at least every two years. And, and I gave you the figure of 15.7 per cent based on the calculation that we last did. What, what's uh, the 15.7 reflect? So what, what I was about to say, Senator, is um, I'm happy to take that question on notice and go back and look at that last calculation that we did and provide you with the workings on that. <laughs> uh, you got... You got poon. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, I got some stuff saved on Facebook, haven't I? I don't know. Should we, um, should we have a look at that? I mean, what can I say about what just happened there? Like, <laughs> fucking dozy. Like, you just, you just, uh, you just totally, you just totally fucked yourself. <laughs>